Hi everybody, hoping you're having a nice day. I'm having a problem with my Google Pixel 6, which is on the left, and on the right hand side, I'm using a iPhone 8 Plus, and I'm concerned about the amount of heat my Google Pixel 6 is generating. So they're both playing the same video from um, TikTok, as an example, it doesn't matter what, what I seem to do or where I go, the Pixel gets up real hot. They're on a metal desk. So that is wicking some of the heat away. I'm just going to swap over to the thermal camera now so you can see my problem. So on the left hand side again is my Google Pixel 6 with its new super duper tensor chip and on the right is an old iPhone 8. They've both been playing the same video for less than 10 minutes and what you're seeing on the left there is the amount of heat emanating from my Google Pixel 6 which is concerning me. So if I hold the phone on the left hand side it gets too hot for me to comfortably handle. You'll literally find your hand sweating whilst using the phone and it's not a comfortable experience. I've reset my phone to factory defaults. I've tried it with only a couple of apps on it um, and I'm not really getting anywhere. So that's my concerns that my Google Pixel 6 is getting really, really hot. And yet the iPhone is doing the same job and um, it's ancient, that old iPhone. And <laughs> yet yeah. there it is, relatively cool. It's cool to the touch. Well, look how hot it is. It's crazy hot. It's uncomfortable to hold it. That's for sure. And so there we are. That's my Google Pixel 6 emanating in an absolute ton of heat, doing the same task that um, an iPhone eight is able to do without any effort whatsoever, but it's uncomfortably warm. It's a real thing, I've Googled it. There's other people suffering from it. I can't believe how warm this phone gets. Yeah, I really love Google phones, but I can't live with this. This is not good. Six and a half hours later. So both of these phones are now playing the same video, although just a few seconds offset, and the Google Pixel six is a lot cooler to use. So I'll just swap over to the thermal before I show you what settings to change. So we're about 12 minutes in now to playing the same video. And you can see that already the Pixel 6 is a lot cooler. You can still see the warm areas, but there's no white spots there. And the phone is acceptable to handle. And now I will go through what settings you need to change. To achieve a cooler Google Pixel 6, you need to go to settings. Your icon might be in a different place to mine. Then scroll right to the bottom to about phone. Tap on there. Scroll to the bottom and tap build number five times. One, two, three, four, five. And it's saying that I'm already a developer, but for you, it may say uh, you're now a developer. Then tap back. Then tap system and scroll down to developer options. Scroll down to graphics, driver preferences, tap on there. And then for each app, you get to choose which graphics driver. My phone was getting really, really hot when using TikTok. So let's go to TikTok. Now I've already changed my setting, but when you open up TikTok, it will be set to default. So just tap on there and click system graphics driver. You can also change it for other apps. And what it will do is you will have probably not as sharp images, but it's honestly, you get used to it really, really quickly and it just calms everything down. So uh, for instance, I will use a lot of time on uh, Twitter because I like Twitter. So I use the system graphics driver rather than the enhanced one. And then you can back it out, back it out, hold your power button in, tap restart and your phone will restart and then all of your settings should be saved and you'll have a cooler running google pixel 6. i hope this brief guide has helped you